happy then. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Wooly. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Do you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with. Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. Wet wipes. Wipes. Ooh. Clouds. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah, found it. Just a squeaky thing. <gasps> Look. I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. He's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my house? <laughs> well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, would you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before Baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said I'd play with my car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> said Mummy. You wake Baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Wooly. I could be a baby too, just like Baby Ben. Tig. I wish Baby Ben would go away. Hello. Suddenly, Baby Ben woke up again. Oh, dear. Come on. Come on. Tig. Tig, could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy, I said to Willie. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with Baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies. We'll need one of those. Baby wipes. We need them to make Baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey, Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go, Tig. Helping Mum's farm. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mum, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for Baby oh, Ben. Clever girl. And because you've been so good, you can help me change Baby Ben's nappy. Uh, yeah. Because guess what? Can I help Mummy change Baby Ben? <laughs> Mum, here, Mummy. Put the baby right Oh, you. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's Baby Ben's trousers. Oh, that is so helpful, thank you. We made them all nice and clean again. It's only my toy spider to be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willie. We've been guests to Willie. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Boggy monsters, hairy monsters, blue monsters. <laughs> 
scary. And lots of red monsters. <coughs> we had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Willy. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willy came too. I love my granny. Granny and daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is Daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about Daddy? I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny. Be careful. Granny will take you. Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When girl. Daddy left, I had my Granny to myself. See you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. As a mud pie, the mud pie pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. 
I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. It's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things around her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said that was Great Grandad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling, no, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig, don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig, Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. Oh, take I darling, I love you too. Can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my it's goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willie.